right so one more thing i would like to discuss it here is that earlier we had discussed that there are two type of instruction sets those instruction sets are thumb mode a thumb instruction set thumb instruction which is only the 16 bit long and then another instruction that is arm instruction set the arm instruction set is a 32 bit long so here in the thumb instruction set the conditional statement cannot be done okay the conditional statement cannot be done that's mean if you say like this add eq add if equal this cannot be done into thumb instruction however into arm instruction set okay we can do this add eq to understand this into a detail let's write an assembly code to understand how we can differentiate this thumb and the arm instruction so for that i am going to write and the first c code and then we will convert that c code into assembly code to understand that in a better way so let's say we have a while loop which says that a not is equal to b then if a is greater than b then a minus equal to b else we can say b minus a so this is equivalent to a equal to a minus b and this is equal to b equal to b minus a and if you notice it very carefully you will find that this is a program of gcd if you do not know what is the gcd i would recommend you to search on a google this is greatest common divisor okay so this is greatest common divisor and now we are going to write a c code uh, sorry now we are going to write here assembly code for this and that assembly code will be for thumb mode as well as for arm mode instruction set so for thumb it will be the 16 bit into arm it will be 32 bit right so first we are going to start with gcd here a gcd is just a label we have here a gcd and uh, for this gcd we have instruction cmp we are going to compare this r1 and the r2 and let's assume that r1 has a and r2 has b and once we compare it then we are going to run here branch instruction that is BEQ complete that mean if R1 equal to the R2 then it will jump to the complete label and if it is branch less than that's mean if it is less than then this is going to jump to the less than otherwise if it is greater than that means if r1 is greater than r2 then it is going to subtract r2 from r1 that means subtract r1 r1 and r2 that means here 
R1 is equal to R1 minus R2. In the same way, and then branch to the GCD. That is always. Branch always to the GCD. If it doesn't meet this BEQ or complete, then it will just keep branching, okay? Here, between GCD to branch GCD. And then here, we have our label that is less than and in this less than we have subtract r2 r2 r1 this means if r1 is less than r2 then we are going to subtract r1 from r2 and once again we are going to permanently branch to gcd and finally and finally, if this condition met, then it comes here to the complete and we write our rest of the code. That's mean here we have got our GCD. At this place, we have got the GCD and the value of the GCD will be placed into R1 and R2. And in the same way, if we write this GCD into ARM 32-bit instruction set, this is going to be fairly simple. The very first instruction, okay, so the very first instruction which we are going to write here with GCD, CMP R1 and R2, it has compared R1 and R2 and then here we are going to apply a conditional instruction set. See here how we are going to do. We are going to add this in a single, single instruction that is subtract if greater than. Okay. Subtract if greater than GT r1 r1 and r2 and if you notice here is that it will subtract if r1 is greater than r2 that's mean r1 equal to the r1 minus r2 otherwise subtract less than that's mean if this r1 if this r1 is less than r2 then we are going to subtract from R2. So the R2, R2 minus R1. And then B any, that's when branch if not equal to, that is the GCT. That's when if R1 and R2 is not equal to, I mean not equal to each other, then it will just keep branching to the GCT. And once it exits here, we will be having our GCD, which will be stored into R1 and R2. And the value into R1 will be equal to R2. So if you notice here, the instructions at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 instruction total. And if you notice here that instruction set 1, 2, 3, 4. So the total we have here a 4 instruction. Now let's compare here the code size. So here we have 7 instruction set. So the 7 instruction set, each instruction set is the 2 byte. So here total we have a 14 byte and here we have 1 2 3 and the 4 4 instruction set with the 4 byte 
so the total size of the code we have here a 16 byte okay so what we can say into the thumb mode for a same code there is a 14 byte instruction set but into the R mode instruction set there is a 16 byte so what we can say here from here in general in general thumb mode has higher code density than ARM mode. So this is one of the most important feature into ARM design techniques this thumb mode because of this highly uh, code density this is very useful for the application into embedded application where memory constraints and the power constraints are very limited. So this is all about in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox. Bye bye. Have a nice day.